Our president, Mohamed Buhari, says his administration remains committed to improving the welfare of Nigerians. He charged members of his party to work towards building a socially cohesive society in which the resources of the country work for all. He disclosed this at the Progressives Gardner's Forum, uh, where they honored the Honours Awards, which held at the Presidential Villa Abuja. Sidhouse correspondent Maria Lassende reports. The arrival of President Muhammad Buhari kickstarts this award ceremony, organized to appreciate the President and the long serving founding members of the All Progressives Congress. The Progressives Governor's Forum Chairman, in his address, extols the leadership qualities of President Muhammad Buhari and salutes the doggedness of his colleagues who stood by the party during and after the merger. I've observed all categories of leaders in this country. And you seem to have been distinguished yourself for these four reasons. Most of the leaders in this country are those who either buy their love or buy their fame or buy their political position. But in your own case, you don't spend one naira while saying buy on the 29th. But I beg of you one thing these founding fathers are the only people that can write the story and the history of your journey. I want you to embrace them. The high point of the event is the presentation of an outstanding leadership award to President Muhammad Buhari by the Progressives' Governors. Eight Paonia Progressives' Governors, Kashim Shetim of Burno State, Rochas Okorocha of Imo State, Umarutanko Almakura of Nasarawa State, Ibikunle Amosun of Ogun State, Rauf Aregbeshola of Oshun State, and Abdulaziz Yari Abubakar of Zamfara State. Also received long serving founding members awards from 2013 to 2019. The late president, after receiving his award, implored members of his party to build bridges across the different divides and instill faith in the unity and indivisibility of one Nigeria. Going forward, we must all work towards building a socially cohesive society in which the resources of the country work for all. We will continue to apply public funds in such a way that no section of the country or segment of the population suffers social exclusion. Has remained a big challenge for us all. We are determined to face this challenge and secure the country more than ever before. As these governors leave office on 29th of May, they say they are willing to move Nigeria's democracy to the next level. Maria Olashengo, TVC News.